Hi everybody and welcome to Cut the Kibble. I'm Paula and this is Miss Bella, my 11 year old Bijan that I've been home cooking for for at least 10 and a half years. And no, we're not in the kitchen today. Today I'm going to be doing a dog food review of farmer's dog food. And I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I've been holding back, but I've had enough. I've had enough. After last night, which was the eve of the inauguration, um, and seeing the commercials on, oh, excuse you, on commercials after commercials of farmer's dog food, and seeing for the past year on all the major networks and on cable TV, I, I just have had enough. Um, I've actually been following them for a year, at least a year or two years on social media. And I commented on Facebook and on Instagram how it's an inferior dog food and I explained why. And guess what? Farmer's dog food has blocked me on social media. <laughs> so whatever. I'm here today to explain to you why this, you're paying a lot of money for it. For starters, <laughs> If you go on the New York City subway, if you go into any of the trains, it's advertised right on the wall, farmer's dog food. Who's paying for that? You're paying for that. All those commercials you see on ABC, CBS, NBC, cable TV, of farmer's dog food, all the cute doggies like Bella, who's paying for those commercials? You're paying for those commercials if you buy their food. They have told me, I talked to them today, that for my dog who weighs 14 pounds, it would cost $118 based on a 28 day month. Well, there's 30 days mostly in the month. So let's just round it up to $125, okay? Um, and I'm being an estimate there. And you know that I don't really measure stuff, but I figured it out that it costs me around $9 a week to feed her. So nine times four weeks is $36 versus, I'll even say $118 now, not the $125. So what do you wanna pay? $36 or $118? Is it worth that much more <laughs> to get it delivered to you? I would say yes it is. If you are both people that are working outside the home and you have a lot of kids, maybe it is. But don't think that that money that you're putting into it, that you're getting quality food. And I'm gonna tell you why you're not getting quality food. So when I talked to farmers um, dog food today, and by the way, I was on hold for 14 minutes and 53 seconds. And I said to the girl when she got on, I said, my goodness, I was on hold for so long. Is that how long I need to be on hold when I order food? And she said, oh, today we've gotten such an influx of phone calls. I imagine so with everybody being bombarded last night with their commercials. You see the commercial, the food looks good. You see the healthy dog. You hear the dog is healthier now eating the food. You're going to buy that food, okay? But you're not you're not getting your money's worth out of it. The first thing I asked her were, was in the beef, because they have turkey, beef, chicken, and pork recipe. I said, in the beef, could you please tell me the percentage of fat that you're using in the beef? And she went off on some tangent, and I said, hold up. If you're telling me that you're using human grade food. So when I go to the grocery store, I buy chopped meat, and I know that it's either 4%, 7%, 10%, 12%, 15% or 20% fat. How much is the fat in your beef? And she said, well, it has a minimum of 8% fat. And I said, minimum? Okay, what's the maximum amount of fat in your beef? She couldn't answer me. I asked her again to, to clarify, is it 8%? She says, no ma'am, it's a minimum. So what are you getting for your dog? Are you getting 20% fat? I mean, I hope not because then we're talking pancreatitis, but I'm not talking that today. I'm talking about what you're getting for your money. You don't know the kind of 
fat that is in the beef. That's just not cool. And um, <clears throat> next thing I asked her was about the vitamins, the synthetic vitamins. And she said, well, most of our vitamins are from the food. I said, I, I see where perhaps that is, but you list a bunch of vitamins that are not from the food. And I said, what is the source of that? And she said, well, it's not from China. And I was like, okay, where is it from? And she says, well, it's from Japan. And then we talked about it some more and she finally says, well, it could be from other places, I don't know, but it's not from China. You need, if you call a company, you should be able to ask them, where is this source from? And they should tell you. If they don't tell you, they're hiding something. Are those synthetic vitamins, are they getting it from Japan, but it's being shipped from China? Because 97% of synthetic vitamins are still from China. So keep that in mind as you buy this expensive, exorbitant dog food, okay? <clears throat> and what else did I wanna say? Um, I don't even know if I talked about this, about the, how much it costs. I think I did, but we'll talk about it in a few minutes if I didn't, okay. Okay, okay, now we're on the uh, Farmer's Dog Food website and let's look at their turkey. Um, now let's look at this, there's gonna be a pattern with all their proteins. As you know, the very first ingredient is the most in the list, that's how it works in the United States here. So then they have chickpeas, carrots, broccoli, parsnips and spinach. I have a lot to say about this. So chickpeas and carrots are heavily in the ingredient list. Why is that? Because they're cheap, they're inexpensive, and they want to make some money. Broccoli is pretty good. Parsnips are huge in, car in carbs. And then you have spinach. Now we've talked about spinach before. If you're going to be buying this food, you need to make sure that you buy another protein as well, because you just don't want to give your dog uh, turkey because you're going to be giving your dog spinach every morning and every night. And spinach is one of those um, uh, vegetables that can cause bladder stones in dogs. So it should be given in a minimal rotation. Fish oil, I didn't even ask her about that, but that's another can of worms. Where is that fish oil source? And then here we have all those synthetic vitamins. All right, so we're gonna go through each one of the proteins. Here's the beef. With the beef, they have um, sweet potato, lentils, carrots. Wow, talk about carb loading, that's huge. I would only be doing one of them and then I would have the kale as a second ingredient, and I would want to make sure that kale was organic because kale is on the dirty dozen. All right, so now let's go to the next protein, chicken. Chicken, uh, Brussels sprouts, chicken liver, bok choy, broccoli. By the way, in all of these, the pattern is that the liver is like the third ingredient. And that to me is alarming. Liver should only be 5% of the, um, the recipe. Okay, so that's not cool. Brussels sprouts are high in carbs. Bok choy is good and broccoli is good, but it should be chicken liver, bok choy, broccoli, Brussels sprouts. I'm sorry, it should be chicken, bok choy, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, chicken liver not Brussels sprouts, number one. And there we go with all these synthetic vitamins that we really don't know where they come from. All right, and then the last one is pork. And I asked her about the pork. Um, I said, you know, what's in this pork? Because I just did a video, I just started doing pork for, for my dog. And you can go to the store and get, uh, Swift, I think the brand is called Swift Pork. And if you look at the ingredients, it's pork, and then it's a solution of all this crap in it, and it has um, natural flavors that there's nothing natural about natural flavors. And she couldn't answer me if it was just pork or if it had anything in it. So that's a red flag. 
What's also a really red flag in this pork, it has sweet potatoes and potatoes. Again, people, why are they doing this? These are cheap vegetables. These, these are uh, fillers. They're passing, they're using cheap vegetables and passing, you know, inflated um, amounts onto you so they can make money. Green beans, I don't really use green beans. Cauliflower's good, cauliflower's good. And then you have um, this other stuff in there. <clears throat> so I feel like I'm forgetting something that I wanted to say. So in closing, I want to say we don't know the percentage of fat in the meat. We don't know where these vitamins are sourced. They could not give me an answer for that, definitely. We know that they're using low quality vegetables. I don't think, I don't, not that I don't think, you should not be using sweet potatoes and potatoes together. You should not be doing legumes and chickpeas. These are all, and parsnips and carrots. These are all cheap vegetables that are high carb. High carb's not good for your dog because there's so many dogs here that have diabetes. Why do they have diabetes? Because of all the cheap fillers that they're putting in dog food, okay? But you're paying high prices for it. What do you want to see in your dog food? <clears throat> that kale was good, but was it organic? You want to see kale, you want to see collard greens, broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, um, <clears throat> zucchini, Brussels sprouts, that's just to name a few. And, and you can have one carb in each. We've talked about it in my other videos. Um, uh, butternut squash or sweet potatoes or pumpkin. Okay, never rice, never corn. I don't see that in there, that's good. However, I have seen on the uh, video or on their website that if you wanted to add rice to spread out the food and make it cost less, we know that rice is not good. So you have to make up your mind. <clears throat> is this a good food for your dog and for your money? It was $118 for 28 days versus, um, $36 that I pay basically for a whole month. Um, is it worth that extra amount for a low quality food? I want to say it's better than kibble. It's better than kibble. So don't get me wrong on that. But it's not a high quality food. You need to educate yourself so that you know what your money is paying for and what is going into your dog. Okay, because we know that a healthy dog is a dog that keeps his or her immunity up, all right? Um, so please, educate yourself and think twice before buying this food. All right, that's it. Say bye, Bella. Bye.